One aspect of science that makes different than other fields, we do what we are generating interest, not what will drive higher profits. So that's a very important characteristic of science. Pursuing your interest and your passion is something that is not common to many professions. My name is Daniel Musida. I'm the head of laboratory of mucosal immunology at the Rockefeller University. My lab studies the intestine immune system to understand how the intestine can balance between immunity, which means how do we protect against invading pathogens, and tolerance. How can the gut generate simultaneously tolerance to non-self harmless substances and antigens, and immunity to pathogens that should be avoided inside the body. If you don't have tolerance to food antigens, you may develop food allergies later on. The other major question of the lab in the moment is to understand how immune cells communicate with neuronal cells in the gut. And the neuroimmune communication that we study in the lab may have relevance to disease. For example, there are studies showing that the composition of the microbiota can influence the development of autism or Parkinson's disease. I think the basic mechanism that we study in the lab may help us understand some of these more complex problems that happen even outside the intestine itself. When we analyze cells that are occupying the intestinal tissue, it's not a one-person job. There is intrinsic need for collaboration. Good immunologists, of course, we are always looking for, but also people that can bring different ideas. Science has a tangible feature, which is we can see immediate impact in improving human life or human knowledge. The more a particular place invests in science, the more you see this investment trickle down. So there is no doubt in a place like Rockefeller, which has the basic science so strong, you see so many relevant discoveries that impact human health, even though the initial interest may be just generate knowledge.